welcome to Yasmin Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to make gulati kebabs. This recipe originates from India and the story goes that there was, these kebabs were created for a toothless king who was very fond of kebabs but due to being toothless he couldn't chew them and once you make them you will know how amazingly soft they are and they just melt in your mouth. This was a masterpiece from his chef. For the ingredients you need one kilo of lamb mince. You can use mutton if you prefer that. I've got one medium onion chopped and two green chilies chopped. I've got a large handful of coriander which I usually chop and put in the freezer and use whenever I need it. I need some lemon juice which is going to be about one tablespoon and for my spices I've got one tablespoon of cumin powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of garlic and ginger, and four tablespoons of gram flour, which is chickpea flour. And for salt, I've got one and a half teaspoons, but if you prefer more, you can add more to taste. I've also got one teaspoon of meat tenderizer. The original recipe actually wants um, papaya paste, but it's really you can use meat tenderizer powder, you can use papaya paste if you have it, or even pineapple juice, they all do the same job because I've tried the recipe with all three. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grind the meat so it's very, very, very soft. quite soft you can see we're going to take half out and we're going to add the spices and the onions and chili Coriander Put that back on to mix Spoons of lemon juice This has been mixing now for about 3 to 4 minutes and you can see the consistency of the meat. I'm going to take this out now. Once the mixture is all done, what we're going to do is we need a little bit of water in a dish. We're going to wet our hands and we're going to take a small portion and make it into like a meatball. Once it's done as a meatball, what I like to do is get a skewer and just make a hole in it. Then take that out and it's ready to be fried. So once we made the shapes of our gulati kebabs, I've got a small frying pan with the shallow frying in oil, so about a quarter cup of oil in it. I'm going to let it just get to the heat temperature that we want it to, and then we're going to put the kebabs in and just fry them for a couple of minutes each.
there you have it, my amazing gulati kebabs. I really hope you do try them because it's definitely a recipe fit for a king.